Zevlor. By Delt's virtue? The Blade of Frontiers? What's happened, Will? I paid the price of angering the wrong devil. Believe me, I understand better than most. A moment passes as Zevlor contemplates Will's words. He then turns his attentions to you. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Very good of you. Thank you. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but, well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you. Truly. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the Grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The Grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No. Thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? One raunchy ballad coming up. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> A night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here.
came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. Is this everyone? Our numbers have grown so few. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. On the Sword Coast. Impossible. That... that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. I promise you, my offer is a perfectly sober one. So, what do you say? Too bad. One should never be afraid to live life to the fullest. Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations too.
I like you too. A lot. I'm sure you know that by now. Oh, God. You know I want that more than fucking anything. I'll come find you when the others have gone to bed. Wait up for me, all right? Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Karak. You two looked... cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean... Desperate people, like those refugees, never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? I won't keep you long. I gather you've already made plans with someone for your evening. There. Some liquid courage. And try to get some rest too, if you can. Tomorrow's another day. Fate. Dost thou require a new ally? Ah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. No. Oh. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth. I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. If only half the world had half the heart you do. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Some time alone beneath the stars and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. We were brave. Hey, a soldier. I think everyone's asleep. May I? Hello, you. I've been waiting for this all night. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. Ten years is a long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word. A touch. When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. Ugh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't tease you or myself. I'd give anything to touch you, but I can't. Not until I can be sure I won't burn you.
I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. You can try, but don't hurt those pretty lips of yours, all right? They feature heavily in my future plans. Dear, if I weren't so worried about killing you, I'd be in a puddle on the floor. So, what do we do now? Please. My life is an instant mood killer. And I'm enjoying this mood. Maybe even a little too much. I better head back to my bunk. You might not be able to touch me, but you give me a lot to uh, think about. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but. It's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To Moonrise Towers then. May the sun and stars guide us. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I've chosen a successor as First Druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. I'm glad you approve. I do not truly care if you approve, but I am glad. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Contrary to how some think of us, we Druids can play politics when necessary. 
Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Oh, hi. Hmm. Sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to keep my distance. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me. Little by little, step by step. Where would you start? You give me chills, baby. No mean feet at my temperature. God, we better find a way to cool me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. What are you thinking about? If you have any ideas, I'm all for it. Give me all you've got. Clever. Might even work. Come here. Mm. I'm dizzy. And you, are you all right? I hope that's true. Because I'm hoping for seconds, thirds and fourths once we find a way to cool off this engine. Mine too. Soon enough, you're going to be mine. But until then, I'll play nice. You have your fun with the others till then. I don't mind sharing, if I must. But keep a piece left over for me, hmm? I will then. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess, in the waking world or otherwise. Oakfather's blessings to you. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found.
those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse, then there will be more to be said. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same.